Okay, ladies, I have to share with you my best friend, my Instapot. Okay, a lot of people are afraid of their Instapot. I love it. It is one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Um, and a lot of people are like, I don't feel like I need a, a kit, uh, Instapot. I feel like this is an amazing thing to add to your wedding registry, registry one day. Um, and if you're already married and you already think you have what you need and you don't have this, trust me, you need this because one day you will be a busy mother and you are going to really want it. So I wanted to show you guys something that I love to make. So, um, your kitchen or your, I keep wanting to say KitchenAid, your Instapot comes with one of these. I'm going to show you how to make a whole chicken and it is so easy and quick. So I just got this from Aldi. If you know me, you know, I hate working with raw chicken. Hate it. I hate the mess. I don't like how it feels. I don't want germs everywhere. So I try to minimize how much I'm touching it and all the things. I just put it right in, start cutting off the plastic. Kitchen scissors are amazing. You can get them at the Dollar Tree and get a couple pairs of the Dollar Tree because you'll need a bunch for all the cooking you're gonna do. Um, and then just, I like to have the garbage can right by me as I'm cooking with chicken. And then I just put it right in the garbage and then I have to, let's see here. Let me see if the giblets or whatever they're called. Ew, I hate this so much. Actually, maybe, maybe this doesn't have it. I don't know if this has it. Okay. Mine is still kind of frozen in the middle, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to wash my hands because, again, chicken, gross. Um, so I like to make a whole chicken because it, I feel like it's healthier than doing a rotisserie chicken and you can make chicken salad with it. I love chicken salad. My kids love chicken salad. It kind of feels like, um, like it's something kind of fancy but it's like healthy. So I'm just gonna sprinkle in a whole bunch of seasonings. I don't follow recipes, I just have fun. I put in cayenne, paprika, garlic, salt, just kind of sprinkle it. I don't measure, I just look. Most of the time you need more than you think. Pepper or pepper thing melted because it was by the stove. This is the everything bagel seasoning from Aldi. I thought that might be kind of fun with the chicken thyme. I'm going to sprinkle on some thyme. So right now I'm just covering up the top of the chicken. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Oh, this one's empty. Um, okay. So now whenever you steam something or whenever you cook something in here, you need a little bit of water. So not whenever. I shouldn't say that. When you cook something like a chicken, you need some water for the steam. So you're gonna pour in like half a cup to a cup. Okay, lock on the lid, seal it shut with this little vent thing. Then I'm gonna show you. Um, gosh, this is so dirty. <laughs> Pressure cook. I'm gonna do it for like 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes because it was still frozen. Then press start. That is it. Now I'm gonna wait, this will ding, I will release the pressure. And then I'm gonna shred the chicken, add some mayo, mustard, celery, sometimes I like to do grapes. Um, what else? You could do like red onion or green onion would be really good in it. And then shred it up and then you have this big batch of chicken salad. Or you could do shred it, freeze, don't do that. Um, you could okay. shred the chicken and freeze it into little packages. And then whenever you need chicken, you could just pull it right out. So I thought I would share this and try to convince you guys to get an Instapot because it's amazing. If I wanted to, I could have pulled the chicken straight from the freezer and I could have put it in here. I probably would have put it in for like 
an hour on high because it's a smaller chicken. Um, but the only problem with that is sometimes the plastic wrap that the chicken is in, sometimes it gets like stuck to the chicken when it's frozen. And so I just feel like it's easier if you just put it in the fridge, let it start thawing out for like a day or two, and then put it in the Instapot. So I'm really excited about this. I just thought of something else. It's really good. The shredded chicken is really good on barbecue chicken pizza. So you can make your sourdough crust, put some of this chicken on, red onion, um, barbecue sauce, and um, what else do we like to put on with that? I can't really think right now. It's really good with cheddar cheese too. So just thought I would pass that along.